This is my favorite watch, the Xiaomi Band 7, and here's seven reasons why. I'm also gonna reveal a hack to unlock features that's not designed for this watch. So firstly, two week battery life, not two days, two weeks. Now, if you do a lot of exercise tracking and consistently get notifications, yeah, you're gonna take a dint on that battery uh, at least a week though. They say nine days for heavy usage. It's just, it's super long. I actually get annoyed when it asks me to charge it because I kind of forget that's something that I have to do, which is much unlike my mates that have Apple watches, which are hardly getting through a day. So they're forced to stick it on charge overnight, which defeats the purpose of being able to track sleep which brings us to our next feature, smart alarms. All right, so check this. You're sleeping, you've got do not disturb enabled so you don't get notifications to wake you up. You've got a lift to wake period set. So when you twist your wrist, you don't accidentally turn the screen on and blind yourself. But then when it comes time to wake up, your alarm is in tune with your sleep cycle. Why not? The watch is tracking your sleep all night long. It knows exactly when you're going in and out of different sleep periods. So it knows that if you're about to start dipping into a deeper sleep state right before your alarm's about to go off, it'll wake you up up to 10 minutes earlier just to avoid that. It's a really cool feature. And to top it off, the alarms on this watch are just vibration only. So it just wakes me up. My only negative for the alarm is that the big blue button to press that's easy to see when you're half awake is to sleep the alarm, not to stop it. Uh, not very user friendly. I definitely stuffed it up the first few times, but now I just hit the top of the watch and we're all good. So this watch has over 120 different exercise modes, which makes it really easy to categorize your workouts between all the different sports or activities that you do. And when you finish working out, you're given a score based on how hard you worked out for how long and other personal characteristics like your age and whatnot to bundle up this score, this rating. Now you want this rating to be at least over 100 points throughout the week. And the problem is I always forget to start tracking my work workout. So my score here is usually pretty low, but if I'm on like a fitness kick, I'll usually be actively starting a workout session, logging down what I'm doing. And it gives a good like reminder to try and keep above that 100 points. My only negative for the workout mode is that when you put your finger to stop a workout, it's really hard to see that animation if you've got big hands or wearing gloves. Do you want to jump up and say hi? Come up. Your boy. Oh, you almost knocked me over, boy. Yeah, you're the one that wakes me up at night to go to the toilet at like 3 a.m. The tracking proves it. The main thing I care about when I'm working out is heart rate zones. I actually have a chest strap, the My Zone, which purely just gives you the different zones that your heart rate was in. And this watch includes those zones built into the workout page. This makes it great to see if you're in your VO2 max and burning as much fat as possible whilst you're working out. Cause I don't like to muck around. I like to just get in 30 minutes, just work out hard and get out. I don't know why I'm holding this around. There's no way you can see the screen. So I'll just cut to it above head. And when you're done working out, you get the workout status page, which will tell you like, are you working out enough? How many times did you hit your VO2 max? And also how long should you be recovering for? And that's because this has an SpO2 blood oxygen sensor built into the watch. So it's able to read if your body's bringing enough oxygen back into your bloodstream for your muscles to be able to pull back out in your next workout. And then give you like an hourly countdown until you should do your next hardcore workout to ensure you're not overdoing it and not doing damage to your body. The fifth feature is basic, but absolutely essential to my daily life. And that's the torch. Whenever I'm going between the bed and the toilet, walk around at night, I just flick the torch on and it increases the brightness to 100% on a white screen. This is ample enough to see where I'm going, dodge the boys toys on the floor and just make my way throughout night. And it's not too bright that it kind of wakes me up like my phone's flashlight does. This is a nice level so I can go back to bed and fall asleep nice and easy. The sixth point is that it's comfortable. Because it's thin, when you bend your wrist, you can do a push up, you can lift things and you're not jamming anything into your wrist. I hate smartwatches where I used to like lift something and bump the button, change pages, do different settings on it because it had buttons on the side. This thing, there's no chance of that happening. You can just flick your wrist around and it's good to go. I honestly forget that I'm wearing it half the time. It's just that sleek and integrated into my life. And our seventh point, the final one is you can hack integration. So this watch by Xiaomi is intended to only have Google Fit integration. So you log into the app, you can go into accounts and you can set that up. But Here's the cool thing. I did a review on the Maze Fit Band 5, made by a different company, but still under the umbrella of using Xiaomi's services. And through that, I learned that you can log into their app with a Xiaomi account and link up Strava, Relive, WeChat, and I think they've got some other things there now too, to your account. And if you then log into the Zep Life app intended for this watch with the same Xiaomi Mi account that you did on the Zep app for the Maze Fit watches, It'll all work. It'll sync to the Xiaomi server and then go across to Strava to relive to all of those services. I just wanna point out to track your location on the watch, you need your phone for the GPS. It hasn't got GPS built in, so you need to take your phone with you. For me, that's simple. I've got the quad lock case, so when I'm riding, I just lock that into my bike um, and it goes in my pocket for anything else. And if you wanna see what else I take with me on my daily, uh, I've got an EDC video. So check that one out to see my daily tech.
you're never really paying the retail price. And these guys, like I had a look this morning, AliExpress, you can get it for like 55 bucks on sales and $85 for some local stock in Australia. It's different depending obviously where you live, but crazy good price. So many features, find my phone, Pomodoro timer. There's just endless things on here that I didn't bother going into because every other YouTuber would, or you can just go to the Xiaomi website and have a look yourself. But those are my seven favorite things about the Xiaomi Band 7. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.